The Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development, Festus Keanu, says the commencement of direct Lagos London flight by airpiece will ease the pressure on the Nigeria's or the nation's local currency, the Naira. The aviation minister said the launch of the Motala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, will reduce the demand for foreign exchange by Nigerians and foreign airlines. Kiyamo said the start of the route by the local airline had also compelled some mega carriers on the Lagos-London route to drop fares. People don't, outside the industry, they don't understand what is happening here today. This is very significant because it's been very difficult for our local operators to service international routes and, of course, to take advantage of our BASAS. These BASAS are, you know, the bilateral service agreements. To take advantage of our BASAS that give reciprocal rights to our local airlines. What we have tried to do is to ensure that we support our local operators to have access to these lease arrangements, like what Airpeas is doing today. And that is what it can, we, can, we can start to use to crash prices on the international road. Also speaking, the Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Doris Uzoka Amite, described the feat by Airpeas as the convergence of innovation, determination and unwavering commitment to excellence. You know, Airpeas over the years has been very supportive of Nigerians, ensuring that they are there when there is crisis. Whenever there is crisis, you see Epis is there. And if Epis can continue to make inroads, supporting Nigerians, in, even into countries that they didn't have established trading routes or flying routes because of the humanitarian crisis at that point, it only makes sense that we should encourage them when they actually then make trading routes or flying routes into established destinations. And I encourage all Nigerians to be very patriotic to support them we we'll always have to remember, we all have to remember that this is our own Nigerian aircraft. And, you know, any ticket bought on Airpiece signifies trading, it signifies investment, it, it signifies belief in ourselves, in what we can do as Nigerians, in our culture, in our heritage. And it also shows to us, to all Nigerians, that we are proud to be Nigerians. Also, Air Pieces Chairman and Chief Executive Officer Arlen Onyema announced that the airline had successfully obtained the foreign carrier operator permit and third country operator permit. Nigerians, in fact, three weeks ago or a month ago, we are paying about 15 million naira just to go to the United Kingdom, six hours flight. They were paying uh, about six million, five million economy just to do six hours flight and I felt pain. I could have at the same time done 10 million. Nigerians would be happy. They said, oh, it's cheaper. No, but I brought it down to where it belongs. So we started our business life from 4 million, started our economy from 1.2 million, and even went ahead to give our students in Europe, in the Caribbean, in the United States, in Canada, and in the UK. 15% rebate on the already reduced economy fare because many of them don't have access to funds that we're able to enable them to fly back to the country. I did spend about a few hours speaking to Mr. Oyema a couple of days ago and he spoke about some of the challenges that he had with the United Kingdom really leading up to this. But I would say that, look, as FAN, we will continue to support our Nigerian airlines and our flag carriers. We'll make sure that they have the necessary support. In fact, we did dedicate a whole bridge um, to them really just to show how excited we are. But um, again, I'm really excited about this and this is all about Nigeria. So a day to celebrate indeed.